One thing that fixes it though, is you can't get higher than a specific point. And the top-notch PvP players, they will reach that point after two months. And then they are stunned, that, that's it. They're having all their gear and then the competitive scene is balanced again. That can happen too. Although, again, someone who has just more luck than others could reach that point faster than others. But in the long run, when the time comes that the finals are arrived, have arrived and basically everyone is, is a pro player and has all their gear and it's just a matter of skill, then it's fine again. So, it's a double-edged sword. Um, that's what I say. Um, on some ways it's bad, on some ways it's good, because it still gives you a reason to play it, even though you are uh, like full honor gear. Um, it, it's it's a cool thing, and the same thing applies to BGs. It could be good, it could it has some worse implementations, but overall the positives overweight. That's really what you can get out of it, or out of my rambling. The positive things overlay the negatives. The positive things are clearly um, you will get to play more arenas, or that um, assuming that, um, that you play it, and well, with more practice you will most often, uh, will most definitely get better in arenas, you will find more skilled players as, uh, a, re um, as a better player, you will have an entrance to the higher competitive scene, and you will also get the chance to meet other players as well. Like you play like this arena, and your teammate really dominates. You a perfect team, good teamwork. You would just destroy the uh, the enemy. Um, what's the second race. Oh, I have to kill them and then race them again. I can do that. Um, so. You have the option to meet other players, and maybe you find your next teammate in there. Um, and maybe you just win the World Cup with it. Could happen. Um, nothing is impossible with that system. And, uh, and also, on top of that, people like me, with my DK in, in general, I don't like spamming in the chat and hoping for a random mate that I haven't played any games with. Um, to pick me up and then just make a team, destroy my rating, which I don't really have, but destroy everything and just never see that guy again and he just he's bad and you just cannot tell from gear because everybody is just cheating basically and letting and uh, getting pushed. And I'm at the point where honor gear doesn't help me anymore and there's no real, re uh, real other way than just doing that to increase my gear um, or just I could also do RPG but it's kind of the same thing um, and that's that's really a really a problem with me right? because I I'm just not playing my DK basically because my friends basically almost all left I almost all left the game um, except for a couple and they those uh, those they do have work times. They are not on all the time, which is not a problem. It's just the things it is. Uh, just just normal actually. But I can't play with them because either they are not online or they're already playing with another team, and that's totally fine. And I don't really want to spend myself uh, waiting for a chat to reply and then hoping that this guy is actually a little bit better than everybody else. Which is kind of what you do when you're spamming, and I don't really want that. And actually, the gear difference that I encountered when, when I was actually playing with my friends um, is still significant. You will get like almost a third. I will still be able to get almost a third more damage than just by by just uh, yeah getting more gear. The Forsaken have broken through our defenses, my my Estre. We are out of time. The de uh, decision must be made. A decision must be made. Die in battle, or be raised as a servant of a, and be raised as a servant of a forsaken, or drink my blood and be reborn as a worgen, immune to the depravity of the forsaken. Help us destroy the forsaken and retreat Lauder and for the alliance. Uh, retake Lauder for the alliance. 
we would rather die than be returned into a warg. But seeing as how even death provides no relief from, his uh, from the atrocities of this war, we choose vengeance. Run. <laughs> Human's leader is found. They're not really human anymore. Well, but that can still stop the Forsaken. Because there are still humans around here, and we can still manage to get more stuff. Come on, fly me over here. Or just... Just don't don't take that long. You're taking too long, Valkyr. Hmm. Why is this not voiced anyways? Some of this is voiced, some of this is not. It's kind of strange. And I still have sound enabled, haven't I? Yep. Have that. So, I don't really see why. Ugh, well... What can I get from that? Obviously not an upgrade. I have Q40 dungeon find, haven't I? Yeah, I have, okay. So, just make sure, just always make sure that I queued. Um, because I definitely want to show you these dungeons and to level up a little bit just is not bad. Um, oh, Unspectarians. Yay, I totally forgot about that. I think I'm gonna take Model Coil. Um, and then... I usually put this on G, yeah. Just wanted to make sure that I put that right. Oh, give me that. Okay, not cutscene. With me riding off with... Great fucking quest. 
super epic, great story. What joy is there in this curse? And just goddamn epic. Just basically explaining everything that she's fighting for. Cool. Really good. Really, really good. Um, I don't know. Uh, I didn't know that that, that was in here. Um, I, again, I haven't played this yet. So this quest was just great. <sighs> but come on, accept it. I knew it. God damn it. There we go. Maradon. Eight bosses. Freaking giant instance. Yes! Great, we are in. There we go! Uh, we're all a little bit ahead of me. Oh gosh, why are there so much better? Oh god, everybody's red. God damn it. Well, and these are ahead of me too. But that doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do what I can. Although I still sometimes... Well, I don't. I still are pretty near their HP. Why are there no quests here, actually? Hmm. I don't know. There were quests for this. I think there were quests. Uh-oh. Pet, don't do that! Ooh. Shit! He pulled. Okay, let's go down here. Well, pet died. Okay, no big deal, though. No big deal. I just resummon it instantaneously. Hello, Fell Hunter. And I already have 10% of my max of my level. Where is he? Oh gosh! And that's all my fault. No! God damn it! Well, but it does give me some more experience. So there's that. Why not do that? Uh, can I disenchant these stuff? I don't wonder. I think I can. And I'm not dealing any damage because dots. <laughs> Why are there no quests in here? That's really irritating. Thought there were quests for this place. Yeah, and Rain of Fire is still gonna result into more damage. Why is it on the fanning? I should put it on the fanning. There we go. Alright. Oh. Take the other path, okay. There was obviously a quest in here. What are you doing, dude? He's a healer, actually. Is he really playing a healer? Restro. Yeah, well, he does. Okay. Uh, this is, is isn't this a boss? Combat? Oh, bolt. <laughs> Great. What the fuck? I stand it really far away. Maybe that's the aggro range. Because I'm lower level than the other guys. It's just because I do have more aggro range. I was standing beside these. And still I pulled. Because I'm low level. God damn, stupid stomp. Our oh, tank's not really catching everybody. Which is unfortunate. This is this is the Tinker Giz lock. This is def definitely the Come on, pull him. Oh he got soul swap, he has agony, he has all that stuff I wanted too. Oh gosh, really? I can't hit him! Oh god my RNG. It's like a 10% chance or 15% chance that I miss. And I just missed everything. Oh, come on! There we go. Get him killed. Yes. Uh, Mega slot rifle. No interest. And let's kill these. 